Fairfield Bridge 48 project is the first bridge that we've used the bridge in a backpack technology within the state of Vermont. The substructure is concrete. Uh, there are tubes that are placed over the top of it that are made of composite material filled with consolidated concrete. There is decking uh, made of a composite material over the top of that and then the structure is backfilled. This is a relatively new product that has come out. It was developed by the University of Maine a few years ago. They formed a company called AIT, Advanced Infrastructure Technology. I'm Wendell Harriman. I'm with Advanced Infrastructure Technologies. The FRP arch is a fiber reinforced polymer. Uh, this one in particular we've used glass fiber reinforcing. We all know the problems with steel and concrete corrosion eventually reduces the life expectancy of many of those members. We still use concrete, however the concrete is inside of the tube and the FRP jacket essentially protects it from any of the elements. This has the advantage that it can be uh, constructed in a lot faster time than we normally would a cast in place structure. The decking and the tubes weigh about 250 pounds a piece. It can be built off-site, trucked into the area, and then put into place. It really fits with what we're trying to achieve environmentally, which is to open the stream to allow a natural channel bottom. Simply you build your abutments uh, and then set your tubes and you really haven't interfered with that stream one bit. You know, it wasn't, what, a hundred years ago we were building all of our structures out of wood. We went from wood to uh, concrete to steel and now we seem to be going to different composite materials. And uh, this is one of the ways which we're trying to come up with new, better structures for the future.